Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. If it's on your channel, you can have information around jobs, travel restrictions, any personal development uh, in the Gulf around and any opportunity that may accrue to us and any educative information that you need to share. We are still, to, are still looking at what we call the medical, the residence UAE residence visa. We are looking at the medical requirements. What are you supposed to have for you to have this visa? What are you supposed to have for you to, given that, to be given that permission to work in the UAE? Is what we are talking about. And is what we want to let us know for people who are planning to go to the UAE. When we talk about the UAE, remember, we are talking about the seven Emirates. The seven Emirates, we look at Abu Dhabi, we look at Dubai, we look at Sharisha, we look at Ajman, and other Emirates that make up the UAE. But remember, it's the final, it's always the final destination of very many people because of the bigger opportunities that are accrued in that area. So in this video, as we talked about the other scenario, which group or category of workers need extra or need um, negative hepatitis B, we look at uh, the medical requirements, why you need the UAE medical test, we, we looked at um, what are the requirements for you to have. In this video, we are going to look at how much are you supposed to pay for these medical tests. Remember, when we talk about these medical tests, each of them has a different charge depending on what you have or depending on how long or how many hours do you need the results. And this is what we want to go through and see what are the type, the requirements, what are the prices, or what, how much is being charged. Remember, some of these people go to this car to the UAE to look for jobs as on the visa visa. You also need to have this information. It's going to help you. So let us try to go straight without waste of time. Let's go straight to, to what the government website says about the cost and the fees for this medical test in the UAE residence visa. We say all categories ex excluding vaccination and female household domestic workers, which is at a service of 260 dirhams. All categories including vaccination, you should pay a charge of 310 dirhams. Those working in the female, the, those that are female household domestic services, they pay 360 dirhams for the medical tests. Then for a medical examination at centers for shopping malls, service charge is at 110 dirhams, including the VAT is also a charge. For a medical examination, at the Ministry of Health and Preventive Medicine Department Services, you are charged 105 dirhams. Department of Health, Abdabi, HAD, Residence Visa Medical Checkup, certificate is at 50 dirhams. Remember, hepatitis B vaccine for specific categories is at 50 dirhams. Dubai Health Authority, these are the prices charged by the typing centers. Normal fees of all the tests is at 322.5 dirhams. Remember, in this case, you get the results in five working days. Then, if you pay 432.5 dirhams, you get the results in 48 hours. And if you pay 532.5 dirhams, you get your results in 24 hours. And if you pay 752.5 dirhams, you get your, uh, your results, your medical test results in four hours. Remember, this is for the VIP applications. Still, we have to look at another category again. Which category are we going to look at? 
we are going to look at a category that has what we call the housemaid visa. For those that are going to work as housemates, these are charges for your medical tests in the UAE. For the normal fees, if you are going to take a normal test, medical test, when the results will come out in five working days for housemates, then you'll pay 372.5 dirhams. If it is your company, then this is how much it's going to pay. Then if you are going to get the results in 48 hours for a housemaid visa, then you'll have to pay 482.5 dirhams for 48 hours. And if you are going to get your results in 24 hours for a housemaid visa, then you are going to pay 582.5 dirhams. For another category, uh, that is for the VIP applications for a housemaid visa. If you're so lucky enough, maybe you have a sponsor for you or you go to sponsor for yourself and you need the results very fast within four hours. If you are applying for what you call a housemaid visa, then you'll have to pay 802.5 dirhams and you'll have the results in four hours. That is pretty very good. So how much your pocket holds or how much you have with your account is just going to give you exactly what you are supposed to get at that time. That is pretty very good at some times and it's pretty very good. Although it may go into inside our pockets and one or the other, but again, it's pretty very good because you, you'll be given a variety of what to choose from. So having looked at the, all the charges, that is exactly what you have. So if you're going to a visit visa and you're going to be either a freelancer or looking a freelancer, this is exactly what you're supposed to pay. And if it's your company that is recruiting you or you have a sponsor at that time that's going to do you uh, the rest of the process, then that is exactly you have to pay. Remember, sometimes time, this information is very important or very useful because at times you may get to work and it's, there's a given um, as you start work, there's a given amount of money that may be deducted from your salary. And your boss will tell you, I'm deducting what you call the medical, or I'm deducting the, the medical tests. And you may not know how much is it deducting. So you having these right figures will enable you to calculate frankly very well to know that this is amount I'm paid or this is the amount I, I paid for my medical test. So when they begin charging, you can try to calculate spiringly very well for you not to be cheated in any way or the other. So let us try to look at what are the documents that are you required to, 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 to go or to get what you call your medical test done in the UAE. So let us try to look at the documents that are required for what we call a residence visa. And these are what we call. One, you need to have what you call a valid passport copy. Most of you talk about a valid, or most of us know what you call a valid copy, a valid passport copy. When we talk about a valid passport copy, we are looking at a passport copy that has more than six months to its expiry date. That's what we call a valid passport copy. Don't say you have a passport copy that has two months to expire and it's a valid copy. No, some companies do not have, do not accept such kind of passports because it will expire within a given or shortest period of time. Then we see another one is having a valid residence permit or what you call a visa copy. For you for to go for these medicals, you must have what you call a visa. A visa is just the permission that is being granted by the government for you to come into the country. So you must have what you call a valid visa copy or what you call a residence permit. A residence permit for those that are renewing that are already in the UAE, you have that residence permit card that you're already there or you're renewing and it's one of the requirements. Then also you should have two passport size photograph with a white background. Not one photograph that you took four years ago. No, because your face and all your posture will look a little bit different. They need those passport photographs that are taken within the last six months of your stay. Then another one is what you call a valid Emirates ID copy for only those ones that are renewing what you call the residence visa. If you are going to renew your residence visa, you should have what you call an Emirate ID copy. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. 
hope now you can know what it's all about with the medical tests. Uh, following the, the videos that I've made with the medical test. So thank you so much for tuning in this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for supporting this channel. See you again in the next video as we try to see or as we try to discuss more of uh, the very useful information that we get to share and give you one more the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching videos to this channel. Remember, if you are new to this channel, Support this channel. Consider supporting by subscribing to this channel. Remember, it's Mix from the Mix creation. Support this channel by subscribing. Put a comment in the comment section. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. Share, comment, tell a friend about this channel so that you can grow in one way or the other. Remember, we are looking at a road to 2,000 subscribers. Support this channel. Please support this channel and let us grow as we try to share very important information as we try to, to improve our lives in any way. See you again in the next video as we are trying to discuss more of this important information.